here to the Sports Mix on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Nick Verzellini, Kyle McLaughlin here on the show. We're now joined by the head coach of the Spring Mills Boys Basketball Team, Luke Samples. Coach, congrats on the first round win over Woodrow Wilson yesterday. How are you doing today? Oh, doing well, man. Always good. Uh, always a good day after you make a little bit more history. Um, uh, proud of the guys and um, I'm glad to be on the show, man. So, Coach, the thing that we typically talk about when teams go down to Charleston, obviously the road trip being long from the Eastern Panhandle, and it always seems like teams will, because of that, struggle shooting the ball, whether it's just because of the arena being larger and it's just a different atmosphere, but that did not affect your team at all, it seems like, in yesterday's game as you guys shoot 53.5% field goal percentage, getting the win 60 to 41. Just talk a little bit about what you guys did, I guess, in preparation for uh, this game to make sure that that wasn't an issue for your team. Well, I mean, it becomes about perfect preparation. You can never play a perfect game, um, but you can prepare perfectly. Um, And that's what we think, that's what we feel we've done as far as, you know, the schedule. Um, we again, man. Our guys have passed the Charleston Civic Center like three times. Uh, we played in arenas bigger than this in the summer, um, all summer long. Um, and uh, honestly, I, I think a crazy said it the best. Um, we don't take good shots. We just don't. We take great shots. We pass up a lot of good shots so we can take great shots. Um, and that's just the selflessness um, of these guys. That they they, they want to take the best shot possible, and they don't care who shoots it. Uh, and, and again, man, like it's a combination of setting up your schedule the correct way um, back in the spring. I mean, we are, we're already working on a schedule now for next year. I'm um, setting up in a way to where, you know, these games aren't too big for your kids. I mean, we're playing in the Capitol Hoop Summer League this year at, at the Mapa uh, High School. Uh, and we're, we're, we're going to do a lot of, like, different team camps that we've been invited to because our players are really, really good. And, uh you know, all that stuff uh, culminates to, like, it doesn't matter where you play. Like, these kids weren't in phase at all. I mean, our guys weren't in phase at all, and they won't be phased. There's no stage too big for them. Um, if we come out and play our game, you know, we're confident that we can play with any team, anytime, anywhere. And, and you know, we've been saying that. And, uh, you know, I think we proved it again and again. And uh, we just have to stay the course and do what we do, get better today at practice. Where I'm actually at the Civic Center right now. You know, our guys are watching Spring Valley versus Huntington. And, uh you know, we just got to keep do, continue to do what we do. I mean, we stayed we stayed outside the city because that's what we do. We don't stay we don't stay in the city. We're at, we don't stay by the arena we play at. We always drive into wherever we're playing at. And I think everything just you know is important. The small details of the preparation is so key. And I think our kids have really bought into that stuff. Coach, your team holds Woodrow Wilson to just forty one points. A team that. Was playing really good basketball. Obviously, everybody's playing good basketball heading into the state tournament, but it seemed like they had gotten hot at the right time, and you guys really slowed them down. Uh, what do you think were some keys to the the win and, and just the play defensively? I think we do things a little different than uh, most teams, uh, most high school teams. We don't have a style. Um, our style is, you know, whatever we have to do to beat the team we're playing that night. And we really, really dive into the scout. And we really, really dive into tendencies of players. Um, and we really, really dive into matchups. And it's, it's always different. Like, are we going to, what are we, what are we doing with switching this game? Well, how are we guarding ball screens? How are we guarding off ball screens? How are we guarding, uh, baseline inbounds? Uh, what does this guy do well? Uh, for example, like the Redfern kid's really, really good. He had 22 on us, but he shot, he, had, he shot 23 shots to get 22 points. Um, so again, man, like we, we made him work for everything he got and no one else scored at all. So again, uh, you, the, you know, a kid that we were allowing to shoot threes hit three, but you know, he had nine points and everyone else had two or three. I mean, they have a kid that has a Radford offer that had three points against us, um, in Radford division one. So again, it, it just comes down to, we do things different defensively and teams just don't see that. Like number one teams usually don't deny the other team's best player. And we do that some, uh, you know, we do things that, you know, you, you see teams that maybe like, we junk teams up a little bit uh, secretively, and, you know, we kind of throw facades at teams, and they can't figure it out for a while. Um, just like in the first quarter against uh, Woodrow, they scored one point because we were, we were like, kind of doing some crazy stuff. Um, and then they, they kind of figured it out a little bit, but, uh, you know, holding a team to 41 in Charleston is pretty good. 
And again, like you guys said, not most teams. I mean, we didn't shoot the ball incredibly well from three. Uh, I think we we're like four for nineteen from three, but we shot at fifty three point five percent from the field because we took good shots and we didn't depend on the three. Um, and all of our three point shots were great wide open shots, um, but you know we didn't depend on that. Uh, and I think that was key to, to our victory and key to our defense. Um, and again, we don't we spend time on offense. You know, we we don't we don't just chuck up bad shots. So the longer you spend on offense, the less time the other team has to score, kind of. So. You know, it all goes into the pace of play, and once we get a team down 15, we, we, we feel pretty confident that we're going to come out with that win. You guys also dominate on the boards with rebounding, doubling the amount of uh, Woodrow Wilson rebounds. is 36 in total for you guys. And on the boards, of course, one of the big games, Caleb Thomas, one of the big names in the entire state, one of the best, if not the best in the state, goes out, has a double-double, 20 points, 15 rebounds, 14 of them on the uh, defensive end. Just talk about his game and him stepping up for your team in that game. Yeah, first of all, the rebounding goes back to the summer. Um, you know, we played a team that rebounded like maniacs and uh, in a good way. So we decided we were going to do that, and, that, and we've been doing it all year. Um, so, again, the summer in June at 9 p.m., you know, we saw a team that did it better than us, so we wanted to do it better than them. I think we're to that point to where we're just we're – just, crazy good on the offensive glass and we, we have to be. Uh, Caleb Thomas, uh, you know, 20 points, 15 rebounds, 6 assists, 3 blocks, 7 for 11 from the field, 6 for 6 from the free throw line. Um, you know, you're, and again, we don't, it, it's hard because all of our players are really, really good. Um, but you're, you know, to win games like this, you know, if we have a superstar, it's probably Caleb Thomas. Um, and we have a lot of superstars, but you know, if we have one, if you had to pick one, it'd, be, it'd probably be Caleb Thomas. And uh, CT just—I mean, he did what a superstar does. Like in the in the third and fourth quarter, I looked at I looked at one of my assistant coaches, and I was like, he's going he's going MJ mode, and he's done that for us in big games. He goes he, he doesn't like to lose, and he goes to, he goes to that killer mode, and because of Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant or you know guys that make those shots, you know, he, he had three consecutive you know fadeaway jump shots in that third or fourth quarter, and it just put the game away. And uh, your best player has to do that if you want to win games uh, on the biggest stage. And he does it, man. He does it. Uh, Cool, calm, and collective. Plays at the same pace the whole game. And, uh, you know, we're very fortunate to have have him. He's a a once in a – you know, generation talent for high school with basketball in West Virginia and high school basketball in general, just to how he plays, man. It's just, he plays different. He has an, he has an old school vibe about him. And uh, it's really, it's really fun to watch. South Charleston, your matchup on Friday. What are your early thoughts on them? Obviously they took care of business and a pretty impressive win over Jefferson the other night. Yeah, they're, they're big. They're athletic. Um, they're, they're, they're strong, they're physical. Um, they remind us of, of a team that we played Dayton Dunbar, Dunbar high school out of Dayton, Ohio. Um, they really, they're really, really, really going to be physical. Um, and they're long and they're athletic. Uh, so I think that we just have to, it's a totally different matchup, a totally different style, um, that we played against Beckley. But I mean, we've played that style before. We just have to walk into on what we do again, know the, uh, know their players' tendencies. Um, and understand that, you know, if we just do our job um, and execute what we have to execute, and, and again, energy, effort, defend, rebound, and run, it's, it, you know, people are probably getting, you know, you know tired of hearing that, but that, that's, that's, that's all we have to do, and I think we have a good shot against any team. Um, that's where we're at right now, and, uh, you know, being the one seed, we're fortunate enough to be able to say that. You know, we just have to be us. We can't allow other teams to get us out of um, what we do. Uh, and if, as long as we, whatever, whatever style of game we're willing to play that style, um, as long as we just be us. And, uh, so that's all we got to do. They're a good team. There's like you guys said, there's no bad teams left. We're in the state final four now. So, um, you know, we, we have to be locked in. Um, they don't, they've never, they've never seen us, you know, other than, uh, last night and on film, we've never seen them except for, uh, last yesterday or on film. So, uh, you know, we just got to go in there and believe that, you know, our plan is better than their plan and our kids are going to play better than their, their kids. Cause that's what it comes down to at the end of the day, whoever's playing is better and whoever's players play better. That's, that's, that's who's going to win the game. Coach Samples, you already mentioned that you guys in Charleston kind of watching the other games that will take place today and 
for it as well as the other classifications. You guys don't play, though, until Friday at 1 p.m. against South Charleston. So what are some other things that uh, you're doing while down in that area with your team? Well, we're going to, again, today, uh, we stayed up late last night. Let's get celebrate a little bit. And then uh, today, you know, we came over to this game. We're going to go. We're going to go eat lunch. We're going to go watch film. Then we're going to go practice. Then we're going to come back and watch Morgantown this evening. Uh, then we're going to go to dinner. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to wake up. Uh, we're going to come back over to a game. That's what we've been doing. We've been going to 11-15 games. We want to get in a rhythm, get in a, get, get, get in a groove, if you, if you will. Um, and then we're going to go practice again, and we're practicing at Charleston Catholic and uh, West Virginia State, University of Charleston on Friday for a walkthrough. Um, we're going to go visit the Capitol sometime tomorrow. Just, like, just let, let the kids see it. And, you know, that's a once-in-a-lifetime experience as well. Um, walk around and uh, just get experience Charleston a little bit. Um, but, yeah, it's business as usual. Uh, like I said, we, we've done this uh, so many times before. We've gone on, you know, three- or four-day road trips that, uh, you know, these kids are wildly veterans with it. They love it. I, I, you know, there is, like, right now, like, it, it's cool because, you know, they're, we, at the beginning of the season we were taping their doors. So, like, if they broke the tape, man, you're not playing the next day. Now it's just like – I'm walking the halls and they're already in bed. They're so, they, they, I don't wake them up in the morning. They get themselves up now. And it's just like, it's so cool to see, like, because we think about, and like, and so like one of the kids was doing their homework last night and they said, well, I'm not learning anything from this. And I said, yeah, but you're learning something from this trip. You're learning how to pay for a check. You're learning how to tip. You're learning how to, you know, go to bed on time. You're learning how to get yourself up. Um, you're learning all the things that are necessary in life to be uh, being a uh, successful adult. And that's, that's what I've seen, you know, the maturity that these guys have gotten because we, you know, we we're treating them like little kids when, the, you know, our first trip we left. And now we're treating them like we treat ourselves. Like this is, here's a schedule. This is where you, when you need to be in bed. This is when you need to wake up. This is when you need to be here. This is where you need to be there. And, uh, they're, they're just so, they're just, they're, they're getting, they're getting it, man. They're getting how to, they're, they're maturing, um, on and off the court. And I think that's what's all about with, uh, you know, interscholastic sports, man. It's, it's about, becoming a better person um, as well as a better basketball player. And it's fun for me to see, you know, our kids evolving. It's, it's super cool. Coach, thank you again for the time. Best of luck this weekend. Hopefully we're talking about a state championship on Monday.